In the day's other news, the European Court of Human Rights ruled that Russia was wrong to jail members of the group of activists, artists known as Pussy Riot, for a protest in 2012. The court ordered the Putin government to pay nearly $50,000 to the protesters who spent two years in prison. Pussy Riot activists staged their most recent protest at Sunday's World Cup final when four members ran onto the playing field. Former President Barack Obama rebuked President Trump today without ever naming him. Mr. Obama delivered a major address in Johannesburg, South Africa, and condemned what he called a politics of fear and resentment used by strong men leaders. He warned against propaganda and false claims, sometimes from the mouths of leaders themselves. We see the, the utter loss of shame among political leaders where they're caught in a lie and they just double down and they lie some more. It used to, look, let me say, politicians have always lied, but it used to be if you caught them lying, they'd be like, oh man. Now they just keep on lying. In the end, the former president did offer words of hope, saying, we've been through darker times, we've been through lower valleys. In Nicaragua, the government intensified its assault on political opponents today. Police and armed supporters attack a neighborhood in Messiah that has become a center of resistance. Protests against President Daniel Ortega's plan to cut pension benefits broke out in April. Since then, some 280 people have died in a government crackdown. Japan and the European Union have signed a landmark trade deal. The pact will do away with nearly all tariffs between them and create the world's largest open area for trade. They made it official today during a ceremony in Tokyo. The European Council's president said it is a counter to President Trump's protectionist trade policies. We are sending a clear message that you can count on us. We are predictable both Japan and the EU, predictable, responsible, and will continue defending a world order based on rules, on freedom, on transparency and common sense. The EU-Japanese trade deal will cover a third of the global economy and roughly 600 million people. Back in this country, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell told Congress today he expects to keep raising interest rates gradually. He said the Fed anticipates the job market will stay strong and inflation will hover near 2 percent for the next few years. And he said it is a balancing act. On the one hand, raising interest rates too slowly may lead to high inflation or financial market excesses. On the other hand, if we raise rates too rapidly, the economy could weaken and inflation could run persistently below our objective. Powell, decli Powell declined to comment directly on potential effects of President Trump's tariffs on foreign goods. Instead, he said countries that are open to trade tend to have faster growth, whereas those with protectionist policies fare worse. And on Wall Street, the Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 55 points to close near 25,120. The Nasdaq rose 49 points, and the S&P 500 added 11. Still to come on the news, our former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright on President Trump's meeting with President Putin. A doctor shortage in hur hurricane ravaged Puerto Rico. The popular New Way teenagers are vaping with e-cigarettes and much more.